This ghost gonna be coming down to Chicago to get down on this? Ghost dead. You do it? Nah, but I couldn't stop it neither. Before you get too comfortable or disappointed about the fact that Ghost is dead, let me run you through something first, then you can decide which side of the coin to belong. First of all, I wasn't expecting Tommy's story to change when it comes to Ghost, especially if a mutual friend is asking. In this video, I'm going to talk about ghost death conversation between Tommy and Liliana, Tommy's brother on the same topic about ghosts and their grandmother's insurance, the product Tommy is moving and Claudia's moves. And of course, if you are new to my channel, you are welcome. Kindly hit the subscribe button for more power content. If you have already subscribed, thank you for the support. Now let's get straight into business. Let's say the ghost is dead story is to protect ghosts. Then you agree with me that Tommy has to stick to the script, especially with a mutual friend. Now, first off, we still don't know what ghost left for Tommy in that envelope. It could be a message just like he left for Tariq. Now, Knowing what went down with Ghost and how Tommy even has to fake his own death to get away from the feds, why would he tell anyone that Ghost is alive? Especially to Liliana, someone he wanted dead for a long time. We might think Tommy couldn't function or think well without Ghost, but trust me, Tommy is handling himself well in Chicago enough that he can't contradict himself. Tommy told his brother that his partner went south. He headed south. The partner in this case is Ghost. I know it is arguable that the circumstances were different and Tommy seemed to be lying to his brother about this said partner which we all know that it is Ghost. Now I know people will say he didn't want the brother to think negative that's why he didn't tell him that his partner is dead. I don't think there is anything wrong with Tommy telling JP that his partner died that is why he left New York but like I said it is arguable. So now the question is who is Tommy lying to? Liliana or JP or both? Why would Tommy stick to the script and lie to Liliana that Ghost is dead? Because if let's say Liliana knows that Ghost is not dead, there will be some expectations from her. She might even attempt to reach out to Ghost and in reaching out to Ghost, she might end up blowing Tommy's cover. Because mind you, in New York, Tommy is dead and he didn't tell Liliana about that. Secondly, why would Tommy even trust Liliana with the truth about Ghost when she refused to tell him where she got all those drugs from? In my opinion, the writer is sticking to whatever plan they have in place for Ghost. In my last video, I mentioned that we will be hearing Ghost conversation coming up and the writer will surely make Tommy say it like he is dead, but at the same time, make it look like he is not. It is therefore not surprising to me that after Ghost conversation with Liliana, the next scene was Tommy with JP and they ended up talking about Ghost again but this time Tommy sounded like he was lying to his brother about Ghost going to South. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section now. The same way no one can tell where Tasha is hiding is the same way even if Tommy knows that Ghost is still alive, he won't say a word to anyone. So in my opinion, until they are bold enough to bring the RIP post of Ghost, Ghost is capable of coming back. Listen to Tommy describe Ghost. We knew this guy Breeze when we were kids. He came up with Ghost. Hmm. He said the kid had the ability to disappear. You never saw him coming, you never saw him leave. Now, I'm not saying Ghost is an immortal or something and he can't die. But if all these descriptions about Ghost character is supposed to be something significant, then we will see the return of Ghost. Now, the product Tommy and Liliana wants to sell might be a huge problem moving forward. Even though the tag on it looks like that of the Jimenez, there is someone we have forgotten in this issue. T for Tatiana. She was with Milan. After Tommy and Ghost killed Milan, she was with Jason in Chicago. She was the one who saved Tommy that night when Jason was about to kill Tommy for killing Milan without his permission. And during this same period, Ghost just got out of jail as well. Now, it is possible that Tatiana is taking control of what Jason left behind in Chicago and the remaining product of the Jimenez after Jason shot Alicia Jimenez. And it's probably that what Liliana stole was from one of Jason's Chicago crew members. And if you notice, when Tommy mentioned Jason to Liliana, she panicked a little bit when she heard the name and Tommy brushed it off. My guy Jason said that none of them fuck with each other. Huh? 
uh, old associate retired. Seems like a wasted shot for black and Latin and white crews not to mix. So I am sure Tatiana will pop up soon looking for their missing product. Even though Liliana added some stuff to it so that it can't be traceable, I am sure in the process of getting the drugs in the first place, she made some mistakes that could lead back to her and Tommy. So in my opinion, I think Tommy and Liliana are possibly moving Jason's weight without knowing even though he is dead. And don't forget Rodolfo is Jason's distro in LA too. Now let me know what you think about this analysis. Leave your theories in the comment section as well. Let's get interactive. Now moving on, there isn't much details about Tommy's grandmother yet, but I have a feeling the woman has a huge insurance not for herself alone, but for both Tommy and JP. It could also be that JP might come across some documents in their grandmother's room since he's cleaning the house. And I'm sure there is a huge secret awaits Tommy and his brother in that house. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Now, Tommy could be having some grandson benefit waiting for him somewhere. But hey, this is not facts. Like I said, I'm just thinking. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Now, finally, Claudia is making her own moves to bring some serious competition into the game. If she succeeds and this happens, she will end up pushing her family out of business. When people get to taste hers and Tommy's products, her father's pills will be nothing. And I can see a huge war coming and this might not end up well for the Fling family. Now leave your thoughts in the comment section about everything that happened in Power Book 4 Episode 3 so far. Do you still think Ghost is dead? Is this confirmation confirmed enough for you? Well, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. If you like this video, kindly hit the subscribe button, share, and don't forget to leave your comments below. Catch you in my next video. It's your boy Nino. Thanks for watching. Now, I ran a couple of polls on my community page, but let me run you through a couple of them. You can check them out yourself. The first question was, who do you think Tommy loved the most? And it's quite interesting. Out of 6,083% people think he loved Lakeisha more than Harley. Well, I don't know what you think, but you can leave your comment down below or go to my community page here on YouTube and also add your vote. Now, this one is quite a little bit arguable and a lot of people in the comments are really, really arguing about the fact that who is to blame for Zeke's death. Out of 7,400 votes, 54% says it's Diana's fault and 29% says it's Lorenzo's fault. 17% decides that okay this is monet's fault i don't know it's been a banter in the comment section you guys should go there go check it out yourself but what do you think do you think diana is to blame for zeke's death so some people are with the argument that if she hadn't opened the bag and if she hadn't informed lorenzo lorenzo would have stayed home and zeke would have stayed alive but come on guys lorenzo pulled the trigger well that is people's opinion and you can see majority are saying Diana is to blame. I think majority of my videos here talks about whether Ghost is still alive or not. Even if the video has nothing to do with Ghost, I sometimes ask this question. Now, I decided to run a poll and about 6,800 people, 66 believe Ghost is still alive and 34% believe Ghost is dead. So at this point, I think majority of us here believe Ghost is still alive. I know people will start coming at me at the comment section that ghost is dead, let it be, get over it, and blah, blah, blah. But here is the poll, and yet 66% of 6,800 people who voted believe ghost is still alive. I don't know about you. You can leave your comment or just go to my community page, click and vote as well, and leave your comment there. Let's get interactive. Now, finally, with regards to ghost again, and I'm quite surprised the number has changed, especially with regards to this question, will you still watch Power if they drop Ghost R.I.P. post now? I mean, right now, just imagine they just drop Ghost R.I.P. post and we know that the moment they drop the R.I.P. post, it means Ghost is dead. Question is, will you still watch Power? I'm surprised and not so surprised that over 5,600 people voted 79% says yes, they will continue watching power. 21% says hell no, they are not going to watch power. If you just oppose this voting with the previous one about whether Ghost is still alive or dead, it's like there is a funny feeling going on here. 
because people still want to watch power in spite of the fact that ghost is partially dead let me put it that way because I think I'm one of the advocates who believes that uh, Ghost is still alive. But well, you can leave your comment in the comment section and let me know your thoughts. Let me know what you think about all these polls. If you like this video, kindly hit the subscribe button, share, like, and don't forget to leave your comments below. Catch you in my next video. It's your boy Nino. Thanks for watching.